What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Lubu. I am your host, Brian Chef Lubu Smalley, here in the kitchen of Battle and Brew, doing a dish for you for Warframe. Warframe, for those of you that don't know, is a space action ninja murder simulator. It's really cool. Let's take a look. Holy shit. Yeah, that's serious. So, we're gonna be making a dish themed at the Warframe. I've got some great ideas uh, and I'm gonna share them with you. Recently they held the My Valentino contest, uh, which was a cooking contest for Warframe. My younger brother Adam, who has helped me in the kitchen a lot, took second place. A year ago he took first place in the dessert contest. So, my family in Warframe, we have a great relationship. Uh, us with winning cooking contests and then with making a really cool game that I like. So that works out really well. I didn't get in the contest because I was dumb and time, the way of being. So I thought that I would make a dish here on the Cooking with Lubu show, share it with you guys, and then you can make it at home. So today, we are going to be making a Warframe dish. It's going to be carrier steaks, fried carrier steaks. For those of you that don't know, carrier is a sentinel in Warframe, probably the most utilitarian uh, sentinel. Uh, he picks up objects around you and automatically deposits them to you so that you don't have to physically go over and grab them. Carrier happens to look like an eggplant. So carrier steaks are gonna be eggplant steaks. We're gonna fry up some eggplant slices. It's delicious, uh, classic Italian dish. My great, 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 great grandfather, my mother's father's mother's mother's side, uh, Giuseppe Smalley, he uh, came up with this recipe in 1332. And uh, you know, it's been passed down through the family for years. We're uh, Welsh Italian, I'm sure. Let's go over the ingredients. As always, that is the first step. You've got your eggplant. That's your carrier. Ooh, he floats up here, floats over here, picks up stuff. He's delicious. And mine's purple because most of my stuff is purple. So let's go over an eggplant because that's important. Uh, eggplants are um, weird, right? They're fucking weird. Buying the right eggplant is important. You want the darkest eggplants you can find. When you go to the store, look for ones whose skin is so purple it's almost black. That's the eggplants for you, that's the eggplants you want. The darker the skin, the better. Uh, that's just the way it goes. I've got my panko, that's my breadcrumb. Uh, I'm gonna be using panko, you can use other types of breadcrumb, it's fine, you know, do what you do. I've got a little bit of flour so that we can dust the eggplant before we bread it. I've got two eggs, that's for my flour mixture, my egg wash. Parmesan, shredded parmesan, that's for on top. I've got some sun-dried tomato pesto. That is uh, gonna be a little spreading sauce for the plate and for the eggplant, just to give you a little bit more flavor, a little bit more complexity. Some water for my egg wash and some salt. Now, first things first is cutting the eggplant. Obviously that's important. You need sharp knives. Warframe has a lot of sharp knives. They've got big cleavers and little cleavers and big swords and little swords. An awning rod, they don't have in Warframe, but it's very important for cooking. You wanna awn your blades before you use them. Basically, this helps to straighten out the edge of the blade. This is not sharpening. Awning and sharpening are different. You should sharpen your knives and on your knives. So we're gonna cut the eggplant. Uh, now, I've already washed these eggplants. When you cut these, when you start cutting them, you wanna take the top off first. So take the top off. Uh, now I'm gonna just start slicing. And I wanna do these at about, mm, let's say that's, that's about a quarter of an inch thick. We're gonna call that a quarter of an inch thick. Get that first one down, quarter of an inch. Mine are a bit thicker at the bottom, but that's, I'm from the south and that's how we like them here. All I want for my birthday is a big booty house. Quarter of an inch. I'm also a Saren main, so it makes sense. She got a big booty, so I call a big booty. So I got these sweet ass carrier steaks. These are my eggplant steaks. I Stay up. These are my eggplant steaks. Now you can feel them. They're very wet. You can feel the moisture in the eggplant. Eggplant, by virtue of being eggplant, uh, holds a lot of water. That's where the salt comes in. Salt, salt, salt. You're going to salt your eggplant slices to draw the moisture out. So you need to set aside at least 30 minutes time when you're doing this dish uh, for salting your eggplant. This is just a pan full of salt. It's got kosher salt in there. I'm going to take each eggplant slice, not that one. I'm going to take each eggplant slice, I'm going to put in the salt, 
And I want to make sure this thing is covered in salt. Just like that. I want a lot of salt on it. Now, the salting process, like I said, it'll take about 30 minutes. You'll see all the moisture come to the surface of the eggplant. It's like, oh, look at that. Whoa, whoa, pulling all the water up. So once you're done, once that 30 minutes passes, you need to take all these eggplant slices out and rinse them thoroughly. Like, rinse them underwater and take your hands and do this to them. Get all the extra salt off there. You do not want that extra salt on there uh, because it'll make it taste like salt. If you are worried about using too much salt or you don't have enough salt in your house, you can farm uh, juggernauts for the blueprint and then you will suddenly have tons of salt. But given how hard it is to get the blueprint off of juggernauts, you won't be completing this dish till 2187, probably. So you've salted them. They should look salty, blue salty. There's water in the base of that because I've actually already salted these and I rinsed them. So when they're done, they are salted. They have a little water on them, but what's important is that the water has been pulled out of the slices themselves. We want that excess moisture that's inside of them to be gone. That's where it's really important. So egg wash is simple. You do two eggs and some water and you mix it up and you have an egg wash. Rocket science, it ain't. So take my eggs, uno y dos. That's a Spanish for one and two. Uh, we're gonna just crack these bad boys open. And I'm gonna add some water. I'm gonna take a fork and I'm gonna mix it up. Make sure you're using ice cold water with an egg wash. Uh, just works better. I don't know, old wives tale, magic. So, egg wash, that's it. Super easy. So what we'll do is our process here, so I've got all my stuff here, is we'll dredge them in flour first. Bloop, bloop. Then we're gonna put them in the egg wash. Bloop, 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 bloop. Then we're gonna put them in the panko, flip, flop, flip, and then we're gonna fry them. It's very simple. Once we're fried, we're gonna come back, we're gonna put some Parmesan on it, some pesto. It's gonna plate up, it's gonna be awesome. So let's teleport uh, down onto the fryer and uh, get this stuff set up. I start by taking the eggplant slices, dredging it through the flour, uh, making sure to flip it over repeatedly, and then we're gonna to dredge it through the egg and then through the panko. And we really just wanna make sure that we're getting egg, we get flour on every part of the eggplant, then egg on every part, and then panko on every part. We're gonna ensure that we get a good fry. Uh, so again, take the eggplant and make sure that you get the flour on there. Sometimes you can rub it on there to just make sure it sticks. You, you really wanna make sure you're doing this right. Uh, and then again, into the egg, flip it a couple times, make sure you get egg stuck to it. Then into the panko and then slowly into the fryer. And make sure you're doing it slowly when you put it into the fryer because you don't want these big slices to splash oil all over you. Uh, that will sting a lot. So once we've done that, we're just gonna keep them in there for a few minutes, flipping them regularly just to make sure they're getting cooked on both sides equally. We're looking for a nice golden brown uh, and a crispiness to them. As they fry correctly, you know, with the right amount of flour, egg, and, and panko, they'll, they'll actually become uh, this nice crispy eggplant. Uh, this is just delicious. And you can see I'm gonna pull them out, shaking them just to get a little excess oil off of there. Or you can use the cage if you want, if you have a cage. If you're doing it at home, just do it with your uh, tongs. Just be careful. And our carrier eggplant is gonna be coming out and getting plated up. Thumbs up for good work. All right, so we're back from the fryer. Eggplant, perfectly fried. My Warframe carrier steaks. Made with fried eggplant. Um, we're gonna plate these things up so that I can show you how to eat it. These are my carrier steaks for Warframe. If you guys wanna play Warframe, check out playwarframe.com. You can find the recipe in the description. If you like the video, like it, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Chef Lubu. And yeah, let's, let's, let's try it out. Mmm. That's so good. So good. You're gonna wanna make this dish. You're gonna wanna play Warframe. If you wanna find me in Warframe, I'm Chef Lubu. My name's Chef Lubu, and I'll see y'all on the Foods of Justice.